Hey guys, welcome to this video. The lighting is not great in here right now. Also, I'm on my phone because we're going somewhere. It's been a while since I've done this. I am going thrifting today. There's only really like one thrift, thrift store in my town. So we're going there. Basically, I just have a few things that I am looking for. Um, I'll talk to you a little bit about what we're looking for on the way there. For now, I just need to dry, warm up my car. Also, I'm so sorry if the audio freaking sucks right now. Again, I'm filming on my phone. Wow, that lighting is awful. <laughs> so, things that I am looking for. Currently, I am taking a bridal class, um, which means <laughs> I'm sewing my wedding dress right now. And I have just finished patterning it. Um, but I need to sew a mock-up. And usually you do that with muslin, but I don't want to buy muslin just to, I don't know, muslin is more expensive than like a bed sheet. So I'm going to the thrift store looking for a bed sheet. I saw this girl on Instagram, she wears like a lot of vintage clothing and she made this reel, I think, about thrifting sheer tights, like uh, nylons? I guess it, I guess you could call it nylons. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have luck to find like ones with really cool patterns or anything like that, but I have been thinking about getting some black tights recently, like black sheer tights. Um, I haven't worn any since probably when I was like 13, honestly, or younger maybe. And so I am looking for some sheer tights. Honestly, I don't really want any nude ones. I would definitely take black or pink or white or something like that. Something like not skin toned. I have like a whole list of things, but um, I don't remember all of it off the top of my head. So I'm just gonna drive and when I get there, I will hopefully show you what I'm finding, but yeah, I will see you guys there. Okay, so, voice over Emma here. This is what I found at the thrift store. Um, some one dollar tights. I, I found a lot of them, actually. Um, but they were strange. So, like, that one was black. Um, sorry, I'm like... <laughs> I'm like trying not to let anyone see that I'm recording because I was scared, but I found these ballerina ones too. They had holes for some reason, like in the knee or in the heel. I'm not really sure. They were pink, which was pretty, but I passed them up because of the holes because I didn't understand where they would be. Um, and then there was like a bunch that were just like nude, which I didn't really want. Um, I ended up getting the black ones though. And then every single time I go to the thrift store, I have to check for fabric. So I found this, um, some pretty, like, satiny, almost silky fabric. And then that, like, more trouser sort. I've been looking for a denim vest lately. That was the only one I could find. It wasn't very good. Um, I found this polo shirt. I've kind of wanted to get one so that I could alter it and make it into a t-shirt. And I really liked the colors of this one inspiration for my wedding reception when I 
do get married someday and it's like mismatched thrifted plates like this okay so we got the goods lighting is not not ideal right now but um we got some stuff i was looking for definitely definitely got some good stuff but i still really need like a bed sheet they had some but they weren't great also there's a creepy man parked by me it's fine um dang this lighting it's really awful anyways there's one other really small thrift store i might pop by and see if they're still open it's like almost five they should be open but i'm just gonna swing by and check okay so that place was closed i guess it closes at 2 p.m which is real early um Anyways, I'm gonna head home now and I'll just have to look for, oh sorry, I'm talking so loud for no reason. Um, I'll just have to look for the sheet in a week or so. I have to start sewing with it like on Monday. So not good timing. It's currently Thursday. I guess I could look again. Like on Saturday, maybe? Or I might just look through my stash, too. I do not know. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go home. Okay, so I'm home now. Let's do a little haul of what we, what I got. Okay, so first off, I got this really beautiful material it's kind of like a plaid it's definitely like dressy i'm sorry if you can't see it the sun is starting to go down and i just really hate overhead lighting for videos so i'm trying to use the sun as long as i can to go over this but it's like this um plaid and it's got blue and red almost pink looking in it but I thought this would be a great fabric for a pair of pants I'm making for a video coming up pretty soon so yeah I'm really excited for that and there's a lot of it so I know it, there will totally be enough for the pants I'm making next I got this really really beautiful green plate um it's so pretty I just noticed now it's got like a pretty huge crack in it I don't know how because it's like it goes in from the side and then it just stops here and it doesn't look like it's been glued I don't know how that even works um anyways it's just a really pretty plate and it's probably worth a pretty penny too uh, not I mean like not a lot it's just like vintage and I can tell from the label in the back that it is probably goes for a lot not as an individual but um, as a set it would anyways the reason I got it is because I love the green color but also because um, for my wedding reception in the future I want a kind of mismatched plate vibe I'll put a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about um but I have a lot of pinks and yellows but I don't have any and reds but I don't have any blue green cooler tones and so I saw this plate and I knew I needed it because it's all green and I really love green so there's a little shop on it it says the old curiosity shop that's so cute anyways so we have that in my video from a few days ago i talked about how i made like a t-shirt from an old polo shirt so i was looking for a polo shirt to make a t-shirt out of it and i i've really been into neutrals lately um and this one is just really cool it's um a stripe one but it's kind of like a gray blue 
stripe and it's just it's really pretty it's in really great condition I really really love it and so I'm excited to make this into a t-shirt for myself then I got this satin I'm guessing um it's like a really thin satin it's this um pastel combination it's got pastel blue and some green and pink and purple and it's got roses on it um anyways this just kind of fit into a dress that i'm thinking of creating for a pattern for the summertime most likely um or spring possibly uh, i'm not going to give you too much information right now it could also be a skirt. I kind of want something cut on the bias made from this material. Um, so, yeah. It's quite a lot of it, too. It's definitely at least three yards, but it's marked as only two. Maybe it's only two yards. We'll see. Okay, and then I was talking in the car about some sheer tights. And these were the only black ones. Honestly, I kind of want to open them up and look at them really quick. There, it says almost bare, like they're really sheer. They almost look almost green. I've been really wanting a pair of black sheer tights. I haven't worn them in a long time. And I've been looking at the company Sheer Techs because I've heard great, great things about them. But um, those tights, they're very strong. But, um, they're also really expensive, and I haven't worn black sheer tights in a while. I don't even know how to style them really yet, because it's been so long. So, I kind of wanted a pair like these, where, like, yeah, they'll probably fall apart really quickly. But, I can just test them and see, um how I like them and then if I really like them I can get some nice ones and then the last thing why did I save this for last I don't know is a pot lid because um I have a really I don't know I have a pot that my mom and dad gave me it's by all means not a nice pot anymore but um it's the only one I have and I love using it because it's what I grew up using and so it's just like easy I understand how to use it but in my last move I lost the lid to it and still cannot find it I don't know how I lost it I'm guessing it's probably like still at my old apartment or something like that um I don't know so I just got a new lid from it at the thrift store. I'm assuming this is the right size. If not, that's really going to suck. But I'm pretty sure this is the right size. Anyways, the sun is really going down fast. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for joining me with this little thrifting journey. My favorite thing to get at the thrift store is sewing supplies. So that means fabric or things to thrift flip. Um... I also like yarns sometimes if I can find a good one. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite thing to thrift. I would love to hear what your favorite thing to thrift is, even if it's not crafty. I also like thrifting shoes. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me know what your favorite thing to thrift is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, and I would really love it if you subscribed to my channel. Um, thank you again for joining me. I will see you on Tuesday.